It's funny how uh, spear fishing gets gets the bad reputation. At least we don't leave a uh, fishing line and lures all over the place. Yeah. Uh, it's bright and early today. Just got in from the ferry last night. It's a beautiful crossing. A lot of wildlife out in the ocean. Heading over to the Vancouver Island West Coast. It's gonna be a roughly two and a half hour drive. My wife and kids were gonna come, but my wife has to stick around the house now. We ordered a new washing machine, so that's gonna arrive today. That's too bad. Also, a few uh, locals were gonna join me, but they switched their plans last second. They're heading the uh, other direction today. So meeting up with Ben, uh, we're gonna hit up the ocean, gonna go dive. He's yet to spear first, so uh, I'm gonna lend him my gun. Should be fun. So still gonna be a good time. Two and a half hour drive. It's a little bit long solo, but you know, I'll listen to some good tunes and make the most of it. All right, get some fuel, get my coffee. Uh, two hour, 21 minute drive, here we go. I already drive an hour and 20 a day for work, so two and a half for a dive is nothing. How's it going? Jeez. You found it? I didn't know this is going to be the spot. Yeah. What's up, buddy? You don't mind if I film, dude? No, of course Probably not. Cool, cool. Despite the lack of cell phone reception and Google Maps bringing us to the wrong location, Ben and I met up with no problems. Some crazy coastline here. Some beautiful rocks. We're kind of going into this area blind. We're not sure what we're gonna see or find, but hopefully some fish. People think I'm crazy when I tell them I'm a breath hold diver, when in fact, driving and hiking down to the shoreline remains the most risky part. Wow, what a beautiful spot. Look at this, freaking fascinating. So yeah, we just got here, bit of a hike in from the beach, but some spectacular coastline to explore. Uh, gonna jump in the water pretty quickly here, get geared up. I think we're gonna check out those rocks over there. Probably uh, swim up to that, to that structure. Again, no idea what to expect, but just being here is worth a drive. The time spent. Yeah, it's so, so breathtaking. Too bad my wife and kids can't come. I'm sure they love this too. Next time. visibility close to the shore was horrendous, but out at the reef, a hundred meters out, it improved greatly. I wasn't seeing much, but I still took each moment to appreciate what was in front of me. I thought I heard Ben yelling fish, but turns out he was yelling fin. One got free from him in the swell, and with the bad visibility, it wasn't easy to find. Luckily, after a short time of searching, he was reunited. During the dive, we didn't see much worth harvesting, so we just enjoyed our time with Mother Nature. This is called sea palm, and it grows in the mid intertidal zones in areas with high wave exposure. Although edible, it's protected and illegal to harvest from California to British Columbia. Swimming around kelp is truly memorizing. It's one of my favorite things to do on planet Earth, and it's also something I believe everyone should experience. It was a short dive, but diving is only a small fraction of what these trips are about. So I picked up as we were uh, getting out there. So it's not the calm conditions we had in the morning time. The visibility ended up uh, deteriorating as well when we were out there. So it's uh, still really, really nice diving. Like I said, just being here was worth the drive. Thanks, Ben, man. Uh, thanks for driving out and meeting me here. Definitely beat sitting at home, blazing around. Looking back, I wish my wife and kids could have joined, but oh well, just another reason to go back soon. Thanks, Ben, for the dive. Hope Ontario is treating you good. Get in touch again when you're back on the West Coast. 
I got home late last night and left early this morning, so Sailor was still sleeping. It's a drag being away from my kids, but one of the best parts of coming back is watching Sailor's face. And honestly, her reaction is always, uh, it's always priceless. Hey, buddy. Hey, Rachel. You're always excited, too. Oh, yeah. I love you, buddy. I saw you last night, though. Come on, Sailor. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. Is that an elephant? Ele oh. Elephant. The next morning, we went to the Coombs Market. This one. Is that chicken? Chicken. I give this heel a hug. Yeah. We get to see the iconic goats on the roof. How many? One. Yeah? Two. Yeah? Three. Good job, high five! This place can be a tourist trap, so once it got busy, we bailed. Go see some orphan wildlife. Can you grab yeah. Sailor's water bottle? Yeah. Next stop, the North Island Wildlife Recovery Center. Sailor's got a mean punch. Happy to see she's taken after her dad. We went to the facility, not really knowing what to expect. Sayla loved it. Oh, me? What sound does an owl make? Does it make hoo, hoo. <laughs> They had a wide variety of birds of prey, deemed unreleasable due to previous injuries sustained. They also have a bear on the premises. This place is awesome, it just keeps going on forever. You got kiddos, same deal, bring them down here. She is loving it. My wife, kids and I were extremely impressed by the facility. And it's nice to know that the admission fee is going towards a good cause. Good job. Good job, my little rock climber. If you visit this place, bring a lunch because there's lots to see. As much as I enjoy seeing owls up close and personal, the wildlife at the center is not here on vacation. Destruction of habitat, cross-contamination via rat poisoning and lead from fishing lures, and collisions with vehicles are pushing some of these species towards extinction. Help these guys out as much as you can by always looking for eco-friendly products and solutions for pest control and fishing equipment. Plus, make sure you properly dispose of all your trash. Say bye-bye, birds. Bye-bye-bye. Bye bye birds. Bye bye bye. Dibby dibby dibby. You're being weird. You're being weird. Ah. You're trying to make him laugh. You're trying to make him laugh. <laughs> can you smile? Do it again. I really like this because I can see myself. And don't put that on your YouTube channel. But.